Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. We are up to day 15 of the Inspiration Journal course, which means we are halfway through the course. It's a 30 day free course that I'm running on my channel, showing you how I put together my own collage art journal using an altered book. And so I've been having so much fun filling this up with you guys. And I wanted to just share with you the freebies. Um, because I turned it into a proper kit for you guys instead of having to download one each time you can just get the kit and print out the entire kit all in one go and cut that out so I hope that is more user friendly for you guys and that is already up on buy me a coffee and over on my patreon where you can download that and print it as many times as you want and use it as many times as you want in your inspiration journal or any journal projects that you may have at the end of this video, I will show you my computer screen showing you Buy Me A Coffee, the website and my Patreon website and just give you a look at what it looks like and how to use it, how to find things. So I think that might be useful because I get quite a lot of questions and emails from people asking how to access different things and where to find things, how things work. So I'll put that video at the end for those of you who want to stay for that little walkthrough slash tutorial using those two websites. And yeah, I'll show you the freebies and how I've used them in my own inspiration journal as we go through. So the first freebie is the quote. Our journals are creative biographies where each image and word tells part of our story and shares a piece of who we are. Now, I used one of the quotes from the actual collage kit, which has over 150 collage items. So I used the brown version. The freebie is blue because it's a piece of me. My favorite color is blue. But because this page was our neutral page, I included this more neutral sepia toned one and just cut it out. And um, I love using that quote as my first page to represent this journal. And yeah, if you wanted to see the um, journaling videos where I add extra pieces, photos, ephemera, and at my actual writing, you can check that out over on my Patreon for the Sapphire video tier. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek of what I've done so far as we are halfway through this course. And also another idea was if you just wanted to concentrate on doing the collage day by day for the 30 day collage um, course, you can do that. And then if you want, you can hop on over to my Patreon and then watch all of the journaling videos and do that afterwards, which is what I did. So I first of all made my collage book and then I did my journaling. I did ask my patrons what they would prefer, if they would prefer me just to release the free course with the collages and then once that's finished, put the journaling prompts with my journaling videos over on Patreon. But they requested to have them both together so that they could do the journaling straight away. So that's why that's there straight away. But if you're like me and you want to do the, um, do the actual collage first and then you're journaling later after you've done all your pages, that is an option for you as well. If you can't get enough of the journaling, <laughs> um, of the collage journal and the inspiration course. So yeah, that was that piece. And then moving on, um, actually I use these pieces here too. So all of these are what these ones are. I just ripped them up to add them to the page here. So I thought I'd give you a few pieces of those. And then for the envelope page, see how I've got the inside of an envelope here and a window. This is the inside of an open envelope and that's the window there. So I've created it quite large so you can cut that out here or you can cut that out here, or cut that out there, you know, <laughs> so many options, but that's the same kind of thing that I have right there with the window. And then things like just blank journaling space, I use quite a lot in my journal to write on. So I definitely wanted to give you a blank vintage ledger. So you can use the same and print it multiple times, cut it up, tear it up. You could use that for a collage background or for your um, yeah, journaling space, however large you want that space to be. Then I have, um, this page here so this is the vintage music page that we did and this green came from this beautiful green here 
So I just ripped it up. And again, you could use it as a background or for collage pieces, a nice vintage green page. And then where did I use these ones? Uh -huh. So here, this is a um, square piece of lined paper and I just gave you some of those here too. I use them all the time. I've used them multiple times in this journal. So um, two for one, <laughs> but of course you can print it out as many times as you want. And then this one here, that's the page from my grandma's um, ledger book. And I used a piece of her handwriting and a piece of blank. And this is one of the blank pieces here. Again, you can use that as background or to cut up for journaling space. And I love that. That comes from direct from my grandma. So that's really, really special to me. And then other pieces like this one. That was the... Oh, I'm not showing you in frame. I'll do a proper flip through of what I've done so far at the end as well. Um, so the paw print of my cat Keanu and a painting I did of him, that was the journal card I used of that. And oh, for this page here, for place, using a map, I have a photo of one of the beaches in Bowen that I stuck on the page for that. So a little piece of where I live, sharing that with you. Um, then I was thinking of adding one of my floral Polaroids to one of these pages. I'm not sure which one I want to add it to yet because I think I want to add it maybe somewhere here. I'm not sure, but yeah, I, I want to, that was, I was inspired to do that by Amity Bloom and because I love flowers and I love Polaroids and photos. So I want to put that somewhere in my journal. Now, I'm giving you a sneak peek of the video that's coming out tonight for our next collage, which is colour. And this is um, a paint chip that I made of one of my favourite colours at the moment. And I was thinking I would stick that on the page somewhere as well. Okay, and then what do we have? Let's keep on going because I have... This page here, this is the page here. So that ledger, here's an example of that beautiful ledger there. Again, you could use that for background or for writing. Um, now, this, you can see they're not in order. Um, and I just chuck things in where I know I'm going to add some different things onto each page. Ah, the typewriter. So again, I chuck this in because I normally use that. That one goes here. So that's the typewriter that I got passed down to me from my grandpa. So I love that shot there because I just love typewriters. Anytime I see a picture of a typewriter, I cut it out. Doilies, I love using linens. Um, so let me have a look where I might want to include a linen. So I was inspired to use linens from Johanna Clough. So I thought maybe I could add that to the page. There's one of her linens. And that's one of my linens. And then what else? So, <laughs> so fun flipping back and forth. Okay, this one, this is all personal ephemera. And you can see here, that is that piece there. The final piece is a bit fun. So let's flip through all these things that inspire me, so fun. So this is a poetry page where I took a book page and wrote a poem or found a poem doing blackout poetry and I wanted to share I've made like 20 of these different poems but um this is one of my favorite one that I did because I actually included some drawing your words live in you right through your eyes from the heart simple real raw true that's what journaling is for me your words write them down love them okay <laughs> so that's an example of some blackout poetry and i was thinking about cutting that out and framing that for me to put on my own wall because that sums up the core of one of my core beliefs anyway of, about journaling so yeah that's a poetry page sneak peek at what's coming up uh and let's do a little flip through of what i've done so far with my journaling and hopefully this inspires you if you haven't yet journaled in your collage journal i hope this maybe inspires you to add some journaling to your collage art book and you can see I've done it in different styles when I share the videos over on my patreon of the journaling videos I share different ideas and ways you can journal 
um, lists, paragraphs, write a story. This one was just a list. That's so meaningful. This one was actual paragraph. This is one of my favorite pages. I just love it. Love it. Again, little notes, just annotations type thing. This one, I told a story with my journaling. This one, I did a list, memories of my grandma. This one, I wrote more of like straight writing, the typical writing you'd normally see in a journal, um, just kind of stream of consciousness, writing out thoughts. And then, yeah, sneak peek at the next <laughs> video, which will come out tonight. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that look at my collage journal with some journaling in it and a look at the freebies so now i'll head on over to show you a view of my laptop i'm sorry the screen is a bit funny i'm not sure how to film it without it having lines through it but hopefully that will give you a good walkthrough of how to access all of the freebies um all, all my kits and other fun things about being a patron and being a member on buy me a coffee and things like that Okay, so here is a look at what the Buy Me A Coffee website looks like. Just scrolling down so you can get a lay of the land. And down the bottom it shows you who claims which freebie. Um, and here are the extras or the freebies. Also other digital kits and things. So all you do is click extras here, this tab. And it shows you how many extras there are and then all you do is scroll down and you can see all of the extras some of them most of them are freebies some of them are digital kits um, and i do hope to put across all of my etsy kits here eventually um, but at the moment yeah these are unique to mostly unique to buy me a coffee or my patreon for example, we've got these 10 vintage French diary pages. Those aren't in my Etsy. They're only here and on Patreon. These are freebies. Um, this one is the Inspiration General Course Kit with the collage pieces, over 150 pieces. Um, and then moving down, you can see my quote for the general course, all of the freebies for the course with the information and all of that kind of thing. If you want a list of the prompts, here are those prompts for each day for the 30 day course so just scrolling down more you can see here 16 vintage french alphabetical ledgers uh, again that's unique to my patreon and buy me a coffee not found in my etsy this one 12 vintage french ledger pages one of my favorites 10 printable linens that's a mix pack then we have vintage french oh sorry vintage music paper freebie butterfly polaroids that was a request from the lovely Colleen, so I did that kit for her. And then these Alice in Wonderland book pages through the Looking Glass as well. They Those are in the public domain, um, so that's why they're freebies here. And then if you click on the Home page again, the Home tab, takes you back to here. And I'll show you, this is where you can buy me a coffee <laughs> if you would like to support my channel and what I do. This is my full-time job, doing YouTube and making journals and running courses. So any little bit helps, it really, really does. Each month it helps me to keep doing this instead of handing out resumes <laughs> to find another job uh, to support myself. Um, and here, if you want to become a member, this is a new thing, all of those paid kits, um, you get them for free. So there's different levels depending on how much support you would like to give. If you do want to give support to keep my channel going and if you believe in what I do here, or get anything out of it um, then there's a bronze level level silver level gold level just depending on whatever you can willingly afford um, but all levels no matter what level you get access to every single kit in buy me a coffee for free <laughs> along with all the freebies and look i get to see who claims what item which is so fun um, it really makes me happy knowing that people are making use of these freebies and yeah, I, I hope you get so much joy out of using them that it, it enhances your journaling experience and helps you to document your memories in your own journals. So I'm going to head on over now to my Patreon website to give you a walkthrough over here. So this is what it looks like. And when you scroll down, what you'll see is a pinned post at the top. And this is an introduction welcome post because I get lots of questions 
of people saying, I've become a patron, but I don't know how to access the printables. Where are the Etsy kits? Because if you're a Ruby tier, you get every single kit from my Etsy. So, oh, first of all, let me show you as well. Some people ask how they can see my posts from oldest to newest. So you can sort them just here, right here at the top. It gives you an option to view my posts from the first ones that I put up to the latest ones. So you can kind of track my journey if there's something fun you would like to do. There's a lot of things, as you can see, there are 323 videos that I've put up. So there's a lot of material. If you're looking for a lot of material to look through, and I'm giving you an example here. As you scroll down, you can see the videos that I put up for the journaling videos that go alongside the free videos on my channel for the journaling course, for the inspiration journal course. Here you can see the inspiration journal course freebies that you can access over here on my Patreon, as well as over on Buy Me A Coffee. Um, you can sort things by tier. So if you're a Sapphire, you can click Sapphire and you get access to all the Sapphire things, your Ruby and so on. Click by month if you want to find things by month. But here, public freebies, that's where anyone can access those. Etsy, this is the one where you can find every kit from my Etsy. There's 42 different kits there. And that's the one, that button Etsy. If you want to just see the videos, just click the one that says video. And that helps you navigate um, Patreon and find different things. Um, so lots of material for you to download, lots of videos for you to watch. Uh, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And yeah, I can do another walkthrough if that's going to be helpful. So yeah, thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. A big special thank you to all my beautiful patrons who supported in May. Thank you for allowing me to do this for another month. I hope you absolutely love being a patron and all the extra rewards you get over on my Patreon. You get access to extra videos and printables and personal updates, first access to my journals and much more. So if you'd like to become a patron in June, feel free to check out the link in the description box to my Patreon.